I think that most people believe that a creative mind has a bottomless well of ideas. But in my experience, so often, we need to go out and search for new forms of inspiration. As a music maker, I feel that need to nurture creativity, and sometimes that means putting in the miles to chase that. My name is Ross Lara. I'm a music composer and producer. I've had a wonderful career of 20 some years making music, producing different genres, and working with all different walks of life all around the world, from composers to singer-songwriters, artists, video game studios, films. I have a great band called The Spaces where we travel to remote areas of the world and produce and write music as well. We're here in my studio in Silverthorne, Colorado. To my knowledge, this is the highest elevation Dolby Atmos studio in the world. And when I'm not in this room making music, I am outside trying to find the next big adventure. Just about every day I get out for a hike. That could be right out the back door up into the national forest that our house is pressed up against, or we'll go find a mountain or just a hiking trail nearby and enjoy that. It happens every day and it's, it's quite meditative for me. It's my time to just be with myself. And so often I leave my phone behind and it's just me, the dogs, and it's just us out in the mountains. There's a strong correlation of making music and getting outside they really go hand in hand with my inspiration too. It's a story that's unfolding right then and there. If you're present, there's something unfolding right in front of us and um, it just rejuvenates me. It fills up my soul with something great and I feel refreshed, rejuvenated, and most often very inspired to come back down here and continue writing music. So they go hand in hand. And I think to myself, if I did not have the opportunity to go out and explore and hike as much as I do, I think my music would would suffer from that. I think I, just as a person, would not feel as, as well balanced. So just really glad to be living with the earth and not necessarily on top of it, but living with it out there. Colorado has four awesome seasons, and they're very distinct, and they're very extreme. In the middle of January, it can be zero degrees, so you can have a fresh dump of snow, and that just calls for a deep powder day on a snowmobile with your friends. And that, to me, is one of the greatest feelings. I love the camaraderie, being out with my buddies, chasing deep pow, going on awesome adventures on snowmobiles. And then on the flip side of that, in the middle of July, it's 75 degrees here and it's just breathtaking. It's just fantastic weather and that lends itself to downhill mountain biking, scouting for the next hunt, going out, climbing mountains. There's something to do year round. The biggest thing that I've really connected with recently is just going out and exploring the woods, even just all by myself. It actually kind of tugs back to when I was a kid and my childhood buddies and I would just go out in the, in the woods in Northern Virginia and we'd see deer and we'd see the creeks and that was just part of my life at an early age. So now with my dog, Sky, we go out and just explore the woods. There was always something about the mountains that just kept calling. My spirit wanted to be here. And the mountains have just become this massive part of who I am as an individual. And it continues to be the foundation of my life, the mountains.